I chat. We got an NFL tier QB rankings of this year, this upcoming season. We just can get straight into it. Baker Mayfield, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking B right here. He he trying to do his job. He been good last year. Low key, I know y'all peep to be better without OBJ. Well, I think I think this is a good spot for him. No cap. Uh, now, this Captain Fat Fuck, this motherfucker right here. We going Nathan Peterman. If you, I know y'all saw this man was a motherfucking liability out there. That motherfucker just throwing picks. You get a pick. You get a pick. You get a pick. Just throwing hella fucking picks. It was Steelers. I'm really surprised the Steelers really. I'm surprised this motherfucker didn't retire with Phillip Rivers, to be honest with you, Chief. But he finna go out there. Najee Harris, if they don't just ground that man into the, the ground with the, the run game, this motherfucker's gonna be throwing lots of picks. Or he's gonna throw up the uh, Chase Claypool half the time and have him go for 50 balls, but his arm's still not even there, so who knows. And they offensive the line, obviously, it's still trash. They didn't improve. I mean, they got, what, a center and a guard in the like, later rounds? So I don't know about that one. Joe Burrow. I want to put him right here. But that offensive line is pretty fucking god awful. So, mmm. Mmm. Yeah, they got Jamar Chase. Got a good receiving core. Joe Mixon healthy. He's a good pass catching running back. Defense is trash, so they're going to be on offense a lot. If that offensive line can hold up for enough time for him to throw, we am here for now. Now, Cam Newton, as you know, he was trash as fuck. If we're going off last season, he Nathan Peterman tier. But they, the Patriots got Trent Brown back for basically nothing, signed all these weapons for him. He's going to be, he'd probably be right here. No cap. Nelson Aguilar, Hunter Henry, Jonu Smith, and the running back's going to be healthy. I, he's got, he's got to be a C because with all the shit they went in, the Patriots went fucking in this offseason. But if he plays like he plays last year, Shit might not matter. He might fall back. All right, they here. Derek Carr. I feel like he's pretty underrated. I don't know why so many people hate on him, but he 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 really should probably be right here. If we're being real, I know a lot of motherfuckers would rather put him here or even here. Be not in either of these. Maybe here. Hmm. Hmm. I want to put him here. I really do. He didn't. He ended the season kind of bad, though. I'm going to put him... Hmm. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that for now. I might change Derek Carr in a second. Dak Prescott. As everyone knows, this motherfucker was in his bag before he got injured. He was going crazy. He's he's here, without a doubt. The weapons he got, the offense line coming back healthy, he's fun to be a problem. But that offense is fun to be exciting to watch. We all know that. Daniel Jones. He's been trash most of the two years, but he's been injured some of the time, and he's shown some flashes. He could end up in this, these two ranges at by the end of the season. But right now, he's going right here. He does not look the greatest. And you can say the same thing about Drew Locke. They're like the same thing, basically. And the reason I'm not playing Daniel Jones or Drew Locke in the Nathan Pyramid range with Big Ben, because really, it probably should be. But 
they've shown some little flashes and they're young so they could get together this next season and become better but who knows that and also if drew if the aaron Rodgers goes to the packers say goodbye drew lock you're not even you're probably not even gonna be on a team anymore but jared goff you see he an average QB. He can uh he can do average things. Just you know, average QB. He's not trash. You know he can look trash, but he can also play good as well. Justin Herbert. Honestly, I want to put him right here. Maybe even here. Oh, is he a? He a type? Is he a worthy? Hmm. Hmm. That motherfucker was balling. I'm putting him A. The offense is only going to get better. Rashawn Slater, Corey Lindsay at center as well. The offense line is going to be pretty good. Plus, Keenan Allen. If Mike Williams can stay healthy, because that motherfucker can just catches any fucking 50 50 ball and breaks his back when he lands. But if Mike Williams can stay healthy, oh, that offense. Whew. Also, Eckler out the backfield for pass catching running back. Yeah, he. Justin Herbert, A, bro. Now, this is probably one of the hardest people to rank. Because we really didn't get to see much out of him. He got that one against the Saints. But there was. He had. Uh, I feel like C range should probably be the right range. And the reason for that is he can probably fall down to here. Or even end up up here. So we just don't have enough film, I feel like, or he doesn't have enough experience yet to really rank him. We'll put him like right here. Uh, actually, let's, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that for now. And let's see. He'll probably end up here. And if he does really bad, he'll end up down here. Jimmy G. He is going to be down astronomically because they drafted Trey Lance but I feel like in reality he's like an average QB as well like he he in the same situation as Jared Goff if I'm being real you know what I'm saying they kind of had the same similar situations fun to be taken over by a rookie QB though that's the only difference um he just he hands the ball off and just great at handing the ball off <laughs> There ain't much to say about Jimmy G. We already know what's got to happen with him. Trey Lance is going to take over at some point in the season. Uh, he'll probably end up on a different team, too. Maybe at some point in the season. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be the year after. But he won't be a 49er in the next two years. Josh Allen. Go S. That motherfucker. Second. Runner-up MVP. He was ball. I, the fucking improvement he had was insane. Everyone knows that. Stefan Diggs, Cole Beasley, a solid offensive line. Got Emmanuel Sanders now after losing John Brown, which is a solid pickup. They look kind of the same player, so nothing really changed with that, except for maybe Emmanuel Sanders would be more healthy than John Brown. But yeah, he, he a ball it. Now, the rookie QB, Justin Fields. This is very interesting because they after the draft, they released... Bobby Massey and then um, the right tackle. No, Bobby Massey is the right tackle. And the left tackle was uh, Charles Leno Jr. I was really confused why they released both of them. But at least they got uh, Tevin Jenkins in the draft. If they can get, and obviously they have Allen Robinson. We'll see what happens with Darnell movie if he proves to be the real deal. Um, and if they get that, I feel like if they can get that ground game go going early on. Like they were last season. We'll see if it's a fluke or not, but. If he can get going, that run game going, that'll make things easy for Justin Fields. I feel like, I don't know why he, all of a sudden in the draft he just, he just was falling. But I feel like he can be right here, no cap. I feel like he's just, he can be in this caliber in this season. Kirk Cousins. Um, with the weapons he got, the improved offensive line, I feel like he'd be QB. Mill the pack, nothing wrong with that. Not a great player, but he a solid player. Kyler Murray. Uh, with how he played, 
we'll go A. Because he was balling out of his mind the first half of the season before he got that shoulder injury. And obviously that, I, well, no, no, yeah. The receiver core really did improve. A.J. Green, I think, was just out of it last year because you can see that like he was taking plays off and shit, not doing it because he didn't want to be there. And then you, they got the draft of Rondell Moore, that speedster out of Purdue. He nice. They improved the offensive line a little bit, not much, but a little. If he, if he's if his, if that shoulder's all good, he should be right here. Maybe ends up here at the end of the season as well. Lamar Jackson, this is a bounce back year for him. Simple A for me. Probably even here at the end of the season. Rashad Bateman, that man's a beast. And if they get Julio in the, the trade, oh, say goodbye. That offense would be ridiculous. But yeah, Lamar, he finally have a back, bounce back year. I really do believe that. Trey Lance. Um, I'm going to put him right here. Reason for that is we're probably not going to see too much of him because he probably won't start until like week five or some shit like that. Maybe not week six or later in the year. And even when he does start, he's they're going to, everyone knows the 49ers love to run the ball. So he probably won't pass too much. So we won't probably want to see how good he actually is, but he could probably definitely end up in this range. I'd be surprised, especially with Kyle Shanahan as the QB, that he ends up like down here. Tom Brady. The GOAT. And I think with how good a season they had with no training camp, all that, no preseason, and with how they good, did good, and they brought everyone back and healthy, S plus, bro. That offense is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And you got Lam Fournette looking like he's back to his uh, prime Jaguar self, low-key. He's a, he's a top QB in the league, bro. He's just proving again and again that he can keep playing at elite level. I mean, sure, if you want to put him here, that's fine. But he he's an intelligent QB. Got all the people he wanted that he needed. He was literally in that front office making decisions. And he got all the players he wanted. So, like, I don't... IQ level 200. Now, Trevor Lawrence. Definitely the best QB in this rookie class. I'm going to put him to B. Jaguars aren't a good team. He does got weapons, though. The offense line iffy. I wouldn't be surprised if he falls in the C range. Because the Jaguars are not good, as everyone knows. Uh, anything more else to talk? Uh, I think that's good for Trevor Lawrence. I mean, they're actually maybe because they're going to be down games, so they'll be passing a lot. So maybe he does go crazy. Don't be surprised if he goes here, obviously, or here at the end of the season. But I'm guessing here. Um, Matt Jones. I think he belongs in the D range. He's like these two, but as a rookie, and he probably won't start until later in the season because of Cam Newton. Belichick really likes Cam Newton, so he probably, Mac Jones won't probably play until later in the year. Mahomes, obviously, S+. Plus. We all know how he played the whole season. He just, he's fun to be going crazy. And he's... He's going to be hungry to win this year for sure after losing and getting embarrassed like that. Matt Ryan, B. Actually, no, they might not, they might have Julio this year, so we can go we can go C. Definitely go C. C or B, but I'm going to go C. Because, I, as you can tell, as you saw that Mike, that Shanahan and Skip Bayless shit, Julio was out of Atlanta. I mean, Kevin Riley... Nice as hell. Kyle Pitts, nice as hell. They got a little bit better with Jalen Mayfield in the offensive line, but yeah. Matt Ryan getting not getting any younger, he's just getting older. So I wasn't surprised seeing a a big regression this year. Aaron Rodgers, obviously, this MVP. 
I actually, uh, I might put Tom Brady here, low key. I ain't gonna, yeah. Never mind, Tom Brady. Yes. Never mind. Never mind. That was bad cap. Bad cap. Bad cap. MVP. Devonte Adams, one of the better lines in the league. Good run game, like to help him out as well. Like he gonna be here. We all know that. Russell Wilson. Probably got one of the better receiving duos in the league. Can run the ball well when he has to. Great arm, great accuracy. Uh, go S. Cause that offensive line is still shit. <laughs> I don't know why they won't help this man offensive line. They bad with their draft picks and shit, but fuck it. Fist magic. I'm a fist magic truther. I believe in fist magic or fist tragic. And he got Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, and then a big target and a tight end in Logan Thomas. That's a perfect fit for him. And he has a great defense to help him out so he doesn't have to do too much. So he def he'll be for sure. The Cowboys and football team, when they play each other, those are going to be some exciting games. Best believe. Sam Darnold. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Sam Darnold. He got some good-ass weapons, though, on the Panthers. Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore. Uh, The offense line, not that great, but it's solid. I mean, that's solid, decent. I'll say it's decent. Uh, he's showing some flat. I'm gonna put he's in the same range as these two. These these three are all on the line. They don't do nothing this year. It's over for them, pretty much. This is make it or break it year for them. These three. Stafford. I feel like he's the one of the players that is overrated and underrated at the same fucking time. I don't know how that fucking works, but because he's on the Lions. You no, know, it who the fuck is supposed to do fucking great on the Lions? Like the Lions is trash. But we know this. We know this chat. Um But yeah, and the Rams now with Cooper Cut, Route Woods. Deshaun Jackson, eh. You know, he got hurt in the first game every year, so hopefully he doesn't get hurt again, but And you got Sean Bavake as the head coach. He he'll he'll probably end up right here. This is probably his range, right here. Is an A, but I'm gonna put on the top as B for now. I feel like this is the closest you can get, but he'll probably end up right here. No cap. Uh, actually, hmm, I kind of will put. Now we'll leave that. Tannehill. He's gonna have a down year. They lost Corey Davis and John U. Smith. Offensive line didn't get any better. Derrick Henry is fun to carry. And I think Ryan Tannehill is going to have a down year because of the weapons they lost. So I'm going to say C. I think he was more production having good weapons than actually being good. And they lost uh, their offensive coordinator. So the offense is going to be down bad, I think, this year for the Titans. And so will Ryan Tannehill. So we'll put him down to C. I won't put him in the D range. But. Actually, Matt Ryan would probably be better than fucking Tannehill. No cap. Probably, yeah, Derek Hall would be better than Tannehill as well, I think. Taysom Hill. He a backup QB. Like, he, he's meant for a backup QB role. So, we'll put him. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. The D, this D range, the order doesn't matter. Everything else, though, you can look at that order. But this this D tier does not have a have an order. Um, yeah, Taysom Hill is probably not going to be a starter. But yeah, he's probably not playing unless I mean obviously he'll get he'd be playing, but not in the QB role. I don't think. Tua. He's this is a weird for me. I feel like low key. These two in the same spot. 
They both didn't play the whole year. They both didn't look great. Their teams got better in the receiving spot, which is for sure. Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker. You got uh, Gesecki, Preston Williams come back healthy. Drafted a little bit in the offense line, not much. You got Devontae Smith now. They got the two guys that had the best connection with. But he, I think Tua could end up this range, maybe this range, but I'm putting him here for now. He could end up here. This is low-key and make it break a year for him because Dolphins, they're making playoffs right now, so they need they need that extra push. Now, Sean Watson, obviously he's this talent, but we don't know if he's playing this year. So we'll just put Nathan Pierman roll just for, like, shits and giggles since we don't know if he's playing or not. Carson Wentz, uh, this is another weird one. He probably could end up with right here if he if Frank Wright gets him to uh, what 2017? Yeah, 2017. Carson Wentz, but if he doesn't. Nathan Peterman, simple as that. He either going to be an A or Nathan Peterman, because as we know, he had a horrible year in the Eagles. I mean, Eagles were bad too, so it's not all his fault. But damn, lots of picks. James Winston. I'll put, I think he's probably better than all these QBs right here, but he's not that great himself. That's why he signed a cheap contract for the Saints as a backup. So he'll probably be the starter with Taysom Hill for sure. But Zach Wilson, I feel like he's the most bust-worthy QB out of all the rookies in this draft. And he's on the Jets. What Jets QB has done good? None. Last good one was Mark Sanchez, and we all know how that went. So um, I'll put him over Jimmy G, but I mean, there's only so much he can do. I mean, obviously, you got good weapons in Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, Jameson Crowder, Mackay Beck. Ooh, wait, low key, I might be sleeping on the offense. Then you got Mackay Beck, then Vera Tucker, the offensive line. Sam Wilson could end up right here, though. Low-key. If it goes well, he could end up here. Hmm. Ooh, should I just say fuck it? Nah, 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 nah. Actually, fuck it. We doing this. He definitely hired some of these DCs right here. Let's go. Let's go. Switch those two. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. But yep. Captain Fat Fuck. Um. All right, well, I think uh, that's it. Got no more players, yep. Let me see what your, uh, y'all feelings about this in the comments. I feel like some some people might be mad. Some of my people would be happy or content with this. I feel like, if anything, people would probably be upset about is maybe uh, the Brady thing, because everyone fucking hates Brady. You know this. <laughs> A lot of Brady haters out there. Um, even the, the Colin Marie. So I know there's some Kyler Murray haters out there. Um, maybe I'm too low on Stafford. Maybe I'm too low on Tannehill, but it's the weapons they lost. Uh, maybe some people think Jared Goff should be down here, but no. He's an average QB. He's not worth the money, obviously. They got paid by the Rams. The Rams are dumb as fuck for that, but they fixed it. Got against Stafford. Uh... Oh, yeah, I left Carson Wentz there, but fuck it. For the memes, I guess. Well, that would be it. I'll see, and tomorrow, I'll probably be doing a running back or receivers tier list 
tomorrow. I might live stream it. So let me know if you want to live stream of it or not. If not, I'll probably just do this format again instead of doing a live stream. But yeah, we out this bitch. <laughs>